Arlene Rose, and welcome to Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a bit more of a stretching flow, working on our hamstrings, a little bit of twisting, so it should be fun. To start though, we're going to come to a seated position with our toes tucked under. So stretching our feet, uh, something we don't typically do a lot, so it can feel really good, especially um, after a day of walking, anything like that. So we'll start working on stretching our the bottoms of our feet a little bit, while we start activating our mula bandha breath. So from here, you're gonna inhale, deep to your low belly and pelvic floor, let everything expand. And exhale, squeeze everything in and out from the bottom and exhale through your nose. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhaling again. Notice the exhale sound your ujjayi breath and if it gets a little too intense sitting this low you can come up if you need um, if it gets to be too much you can even come on to your um, just come on to sit on your heels so finding that comfortable position uh, wherever it may be we'll start taking some upper body movement with that breath so inhale we'll do goddess arms so you've got your arms 90 degree angles and a mini arch in your upper back and exhale round out Reaching long with your arms. Last couple here. And last one, mini arch, and exhale. Now keep your hands out in front of you. Plant strong fingertips onto the earth. Come onto your palms, so really grounding into the earth with your palms, light on your heels, and press yourself back into down dog. Start to pedal out your feet here, warming up the backs of the legs. Noticing how your feet feel after doing that foot stretch. From here, we're going to bend our knees and elbows just a little bit and way forward into plank. You can lengthen your plank if you need to a little bit and come onto your knees, lower through Chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Rolling yourself in and up to Cobra. Then exhale back to Down Dog. Pedaling out your feet again. We'll do one more vinyasa just to move that energy through our body, get a little bit more warmed up through our whole core. So inhale here, prepare. Waving yourself forward to plank, lowering through your Chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, waving in and up to the cobra, and exhale back to your down dog. Very nice. Now from here, we're going to take a twisted dog. So you're going to twist, the knees are going to come to the right. So still pressing back into now your twisted dog here, really stretching out the right side body. And from here, extending out long onto the mat so we're in a kind of a modified side plank and from here take your right foot and step it up about halfway on the mat so your right leg is at a 90 degree angle really press into the mat with that foot keep your hips lifted and extend your right arm over your ear so continuing that right side body stretch but also starting to work and warm up the hips by making sure we don't sag down like this lifting up, really pressing into the earth with our feet. One more breath here. Right hand can come back to the earth, stepping back into that, like it's like walking like an Egyptian pose kind of plank. Or now back into your plank. Come onto your knees, lower the chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Rolling in and up. And exhale back to down dog. And trying that on the other side. So we'll take our knees, twisting them to the left. Now we're twisted dog on the left side, stretching out our left side body. And coming into that modified side plank. Again, holding it for just a moment and then stepping your left foot up about halfway on the mat. Again, you've got that nice 90 degree angle here. Really ground into the earth with your left foot, keeping your hips lifted and buoyant as you extend the left arm over your ear. And a 
nice long stretch, keeping your spine long. And from here, placing your left foot back onto the mat, stepping the left foot back into your side plank, back to center, back to your knees, lowering through chaturanga with good shoulder alignment, in and up to cobra, and exhale to your down dog. Very nice. Now from here, just walk your feet forward. We're going to make our way onto a seated position. So from here, I'm going to extend my right leg out. Left leg is going to come up. So I've got my left leg bent. Left foot is on the inside of my right leg. We'll do Janu Sears Asana. So from here, start with just a uh, slight bend in your right knee. As we warm up the leg, we can straighten that out. But we'll start with the bend here. I like to start by twisting over to the side. So I'm facing my left knee now and really grounding your elbow, your right elbow into your right leg. This will help keep your hip from twisting one way or the other, but also helps you expand your chest and stretch out your side body again. And then once you have your spine placed, basically, then you can start to extend your right leg to that first edge of stretch. You don't want to go too far too soon. You can even rest your head on your fingertips or on your, your palm. You can rest your arm and even look to the floor for a little bit of a neck stretch. You can take your left arm if you want to extend it over your ear or wrap it behind you. So lots of options in this pose, which is a lot of fun. So you can decide what feels good for you today. One last breath here. Now staying a little low, we're not gonna go too low yet. Turn to face your leg. Again, you can get a slight bend in your right knee. Inhale, prepare long spine, then walk yourself forward, and then you can find that leg stretch. So you wanna make sure you're not hunching over or anything when you're doing these stretches. So start with the long spine, folding over, maintaining that length of the spine, and folding long over the legs instead of rounding out your back to like touch your knee to your nose, or yeah, your nose to your knee, I guess, <laughs> either way. Either way, you don't want to do it if you're rounding your back and hurting yourself, so. And using your breath, you can continue to wave your spine, and maybe each exhale you go just a smidge deeper. Again, playing with that edge of stretch. One last inhale and exhale here. And so you walk yourself back up. Now take your left foot and place it on the outside of the right leg this time. We'll do a seated spinal stretch. So from here, really ground into the earth with your sits bones, long spine. Inhale the right arm up. Now from here, you're gonna twist first. You don't wanna use your arms to twist. You wanna use your um, side body and all of your strength from your obliques. So the twist comes from your core, then you can wrap your arm around your left leg, get a bit of a hip, a little bit of a hip stretch here, then continue the stretch by looking over your shoulder. But again, you should be able to release that without your body flinging back forward. So the twist comes from your strength, your core strength. Everything else is just extra expression of the pose. Last breath here. Awesome. Now take your left leg, extend it out long. Right leg this time is going to um, plant right foot against the inside of the left leg. Again, starting with bent left knee, turning towards your right side, hooking your left elbow to your left inner leg this time. And then from here, once you have nice long spine, you're stretching, then you can find where that leg stretch is. Again, you can reach your right arm above your ear. You can wrap it around your back. You can rest your head. You can have your arm on the floor, stretch your neck. Whatever pose you're feeling like today, remember to keep that tall spine. Last inhale and exhale. 
still here. And as you release that pose, you're going to turn to face your leg. Again, get that tiny bend in the knee back. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Then start to fold over to your capacity and then find where that leg stretch happens. And you don't want to feel the stretch in your knee. You don't want it to be in your joints. You want it to be in your muscles. So make sure that you're not straining your knee to get a deeper, deeper stretch. I say it in quotes because if you're hurting your knee, you're not really doing a deeper stretch, you're just hurting yourself. So finding the best position for your leg as you inhale and exhale, maybe folding a little deeper with each exhale. One last inhale and exhale here. Gently walk yourself back up to sit. Now take your right foot on the outside of your left leg this time. Inhale, long spine first, so really ground into the earth. Extend your spine, twist, and then left arm can wrap around. Right arm can plant again, not to twist you more, but just give you some stability and continuing that length in your spine. And continue the twist by looking over your right shoulder. Of breath. And one more inhale and exhale here. Gently release that. Facing forward again now. Right leg and left leg are both extended long. You can shake out your legs a little bit if that feels good. And from here, inhale, wave your spine long. Again, bent knees with the legs and folding yourself over. Now stretching both legs at the same time should feel nice now that we've opened them up individually. Again, making sure you're keeping that long spine. So if you start to feel like you're arching anything like this, fingertips behind you, extend the spine, spine long, then walk yourself forward tall over your legs. Now from here, walk yourself onto your back. We'll do some windshield wipers of the legs. It's a great twisting motion for your body, but it's nice and gentle. Feels good. All right. And today let's end with a reclined butterfly. This way we can um, get into our inner thighs just a little bit as well, since we didn't really work those too much in this flow. Um, so this is a, you know, butterfly shavasana. Just hang out here. Don't really worry about pressing your knees towards the earth or anything like that. Just let gravity do its thing. Hang out here for a couple of minutes and let all of that nice stretch and release uh, sink into your body. So have fun with that. I'm really glad that you joined me on the mat here today. Definitely look forward to seeing you next time. So. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notifications anytime the next video comes up. And of course, get on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list because I have exclusive content for you. Namaste.